I'm starting a series on virtual machines. I will concentrate on Oracle VM VirtualBox um, for two reasons. One is it's the one that I've been using for a little while and I know it. And the other ones, and most importantly, it costs a fantastic deal. It is totally free, and that's why I concentrated on it. Now, what are virtual machines or virtual machine software is a software which will allow you to run other operating systems inside a sandbox within your operating system. So the other operating system can be running, doing whatever it wants, it can even crash and your operating system will be totally safe. One of the advantages of virtual machines is that simultaneously you can be running more than one operating system. So operating system that you're actually using is called your host. This is the virtualizer software, the VM virtual box manager. I am running Windows 7. That is my host. And then the other operating systems running are called the guest operating systems. And just now I am running Windows 8, the consumer demo or whatever Microsoft calls it. So one of the advantages of running virtual software, running guest software, is that you can test new software without ruining your own uh, system. So when you download Windows 8, it's equivalent of beta, but I don't think, I can't remember what they call it, they don't call it beta. They warn you that it could ruin your files and if you want to go back to your current operating system, you would have to reload your operating system from your CD-ROM. But here I have my Windows 8. I can do whatever I want with it and it's running in its own virtual memory and it does nothing with my software and I still have my Windows 7 and I still have all the files and everything and I haven't touched it. Another reason that you may want to uh, have virtualization and if you note I have simultaneously I'm running three different virtual machines as well as my actual machine which is Windows 7 here I have an XP and it allows you to actually have legacy code etc if you want to run a software which no longer runs on your latest version of operating system you can be running it in older versions so again I have my Windows 7 but here I have a Windows XP. So I'm running Windows 7 and XP simultaneously. What to me is most fun is the fact that I can run a real operating system. That's to say Linux inside my Windows without having to do dual booting or anything like that. And I can be running different versions of Linux on different virtual machines as different guests. And now I have a reasonably powerful machine for today. It has 16 gigs of RAM and two terabytes of disk drive. So I can afford to be running things simultaneously here. My Linux and my XP are getting two gigs of RAM each. Disk space is not really an issue. And my um, Windows 8 is getting, and I will just demonstrate the fact that the Windows 8 is still running. So let's, you know, here, okay. So all the three Windows, Windows 7, my host, XP, and Windows 8 and my Debian Linux are all running simultaneously but I do have 16 gigs and it still leaves 8 gigs for my Windows 7 so if I wanted to I could simultaneously be doing quite a lot of 
work like uh, Photoshop or Premiere uh, Pro or something like that which do need quite a lot of um, oomph in order to run really efficiently so I could be doing that simultaneously. My other machine which I only have 8 gigs I typically only run one virtual machine and in fact even here I'm just demonstrating the fact that you can run many virtual machines simultaneously typically I don't need to do that unless I'm trying to test let's say a certain piece of software I want to test it in XP 8 and 7 I could just be running it simultaneously and there is ways that I will show in later episodes of sharing files so I could actually test the same piece of software on XP 8 and 7 and see how they look how they behave etc and again the same thing I could be running Debian Red Hat Fedora uh, or other Linuxes at the same time another advantage of running virtual machines is that you can do whatever you want inside the virtual machine and at most you can kill the virtual machine you can just get rid of it and build the virtual machine again or you can copy the virtual machine so that you it's called cloning on the VM virtual box and that you can then supposing there's a piece of software which you're not sure of or it may even have a virus you can run it in the sandbox of your virtual machine and only damage that machine which you're testing so that is a further uh, advantage another advantage is that you can actually build a virtual machine exactly the way you want to with all the software or whatever development system you have and now you can put that on a DVD on something else you can or if you are on a network I can take my virtual machine like I could take this XP and transfer it over to my other machine and I would have exactly a clone of this machine running another advantage of virtual machines is that you can test experimental software which that's it for now and in the next episode I will show you how to download and bring up Oracle VM VirtualBox